Hey everybody, this is Kit with Chicago Reacts. I'm here chilling out. All of you are here chilling out with me. I think this is a cool time to hang out and react to a fun video called Team Fortress 2 Hat Stereotypes, Episode 1, All Class by Soundsmith, suggested by Bunk Atomic Bread. Well, Bunk Atomic Bread, you are awesome. And you want to know what else is pretty awesome to do? Joining our Discord. Our Discord link is in the description box below. Check it out. we got a great community, wonderful moderators, wonderful chats going on. If you don't got it, get it. And if you don't get it, go figure it out. But we hope to see you in Discord. And uh, thank you so much for suggesting this uh, video. If you want to suggest a video, type in the comment section below or go to our Discord page and we'll get to it as fast as possible, Chicago style. But until then, let's enjoy Team Fortress 2, Hat Stereotypes, Episode 1, All Class by Soundsmith. Let's hit that play button. So I've noticed over my time playing hmm. TF2 that a person's hat choice can say a lot about them as a player. Okay. This series of videos is going to go over some of the most popular hat stereotypes, hmm. with each video addressing the different... Well, I'm going to assume already right there that person is happy, excited, overjoyed was wearing such an awesome fluffy hat. Hats for each class. And the first video is gonna be all class hats. And I'm not gonna go over every hat in the game because honestly, how am I gonna come up with a stereotype for this? No, I mean- Hmm, well, um, hmm. That's very interesting to bring up. Really, does anybody even wear this? So I'm sorry if I didn't list a stereotype for your favorite hat. Now, before I begin, I gotta give the obligatory disclaimer. There are always exceptions to these stereotypes. I'm not saying that every player who wears this certain hat is a tryhard or whatever. That's dumb. Uh, th these videos are for fun. Okay? okay. All right, let's get started. All class. The gibbous. Yeah, I know. I'm starting off with the low-hanging fruit, but this one is probably one of the most universally recognized stereotypes, so I'm getting it out of the way right now. Now, not many people realize this, but the Gibbous has a hidden stat that decreases your situational awareness by 75%. Really? If you combo them with the Pyrovision goggles. So, okay. for this reason, most Gibbouses that you run into will be, uh, well, not exactly aware of their surroundings. Okay. <laughs> what? Manco. Now, since this hat is given to you once you buy something off of the Manco store, many players wear this hat thinking that it proves they're good at the game because they're no longer a free-to-play. Well, as it turns out, that's not really how it works. Players who wear the Manco cap are almost as oblivious as Gibbuses. Oh, wow. I wasn't aware the customization of hats did anything. Well, looks like we gotta react to all the Team Fortress 2 videos all over again. <laughs> and sometimes more so. No, I mean, really, look at this. <laughs> Bills hat. The Bills is interesting in that the stereotype that it gives off is kind of dependent on what it's painted. If it's not painted or has some kind of muted color, then they're usually pretty cool. But if it's lime okay. or pink, well, good luck having fun when this guy's in the server. Earbuds. Players who wear earbuds are usually old school traders. They're always talking about how things were so much better when keys were three ref and how all these hats going all class is gonna kill the economy. But when it comes to playing the game, they're actually really cool guys. They okay. They the objective and they're really great at teamwork in general. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be making fun of a lot of hat stigmas in this video, but yeah. I honestly can't find anything bad to say about them. So yeah, y'all are awesome. Keep it up. Okay. After all, earbuds have their have have their have their uses. You didn't want to spend the extra money for the gray bands or the summer shades. That's it. That's the joke. That's <laughs> that's all I got. Um, no, really. Why else would you even wear these? The All Father Odin. These guys don't tend to take the game too seriously. Of course, this is usually a good thing because they're friendly and stuff, but it can also be a bad thing too. Sometimes you really need to take the game seriously, and trying desperately to push while seeing an all-father heavy in the corner giving sandwiches to the other team is incredibly frustrating. 
And I'm guilty of this too, so I don't really get a pass here. Just, whenever you see an Allfather, don't expect serious play from them, because you'll probably be disappointed. Okay. Okay. Good old Detective Max. This one can actually go a few different ways. For one thing, players with a Max's head are usually pretty experienced. If it's on a medic, they're probably gonna do a good job of healing your team. I mean, sure, sometimes they can be cocky, and sometimes they're real dicks, but you can't deny that they're pretty damn good at the game. But there's one thing to always remember about these guys. Okay. If you see a Max's head on an engineer, never, ever take his teleporter. I'm Riley. <laughs> Ever. Ooh, a gentleman's hat. Looks kind of lovely and, um, sharp, I would say. There we go. This hat was made for the Tip of the Hats charity event in 2014, so if you see anybody wearing this hat, you can know for sure that they're a pretty stand-up guy. Also, it looks adorable on the pyro. Uh, okay, uh, audience, if, uh, maybe the video will explain it further, but... Uh, can you explain the charity? Uh, type in the comments section below. Some Team Fortress 2 players. I, I'd like to know. I'm not familiar with it. I, I'm going to assume that it's already done. Uh, but just explain what it is. Hopefully it's, uh, hopefully the, the, they, they met the quota for a good cause. And that's that. So I, I hope, I hope things out, things turned out well. I just really wanted to say that. What? <laughs> Dashium. What the hell is this? No, I mean, really. What the hell? It's the banana hat, man. What's wrong? Got a problem with bananas? Oh, I just... You I need your daily dose of pipe potassium. Think. Okay. Players who literally wear a banana on their head. These guys just like to freak other people out, okay? Like, they're the same type of people who go down to Walmart at 3 in the morning just to buy weird shit and freak out the cashier. It's just... Oh my god, it's so awesome. I have never been to Walmart at 3 a.m. Alright, audience. Story time. Type in the comment section below your weird experience going to Walmart or if you accidentally had to go to Walmart in the morning early be at 3 a.m. or so, and you're just being normal, but you're seeing weird stuff, type your weird Walmart stories. So there you go. Awesome. You know, Wouldn't I actually you? really like this hat. It's just... It's Players who wear this are all Mu Silk wannabes. Okay, you know what? You know what? No, no, we're not doing that anymore. Do you know why Mu Silk wears this hat? It's because it's a great hat, okay? Do you know why other people wear this hat? It's because it's a damn great hat. It's a, okay. Yeah, it looks looks Stop very with nice. This new impersonation bullshit. I might be a little bit salty about this. Shut up. This one actually recently went all class after initially just being for the soldier. Players who wear this hat are always really great people and have mm -hmm. no negative qualities whatsoever. And I am totally not biased in this in any way. So that's gonna do it for the there all class go. episode. All right. Well, I mean. The hat looks cash money. It's got the sparkles. It's got the glow. And you have to be a gentleman to wear it, too, so why not? I mean, I could probably list some more, but I didn't want the video to get absurdly long, and also I'm just really lazy. So, again, sorry if I didn't list your favorite all-class stereotype. The next video is going to be over the scout cosmetics, so, uh, yeah, that's going to be a fun one. Okay, I wasn't aware that there was a lot of these attributes, and... Uh, I know that when we did react towards um, a lot of the original Team Fortress 2 videos, uh, I, just, I just assumed like it was also all random. I, I didn't know people could purchase it or um, like actually customize their characters. I thought the game did that. So, okay. Interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. I don't really have an outro, so uh, take it away, pizzicato cello, I guess. All right. Yeah, okay. Okay, see ya. Okay. Well, thank you so much for that informative video about our friends at Team Fortress 2. Uh, just when just when I thought we were done with Team Fortress 2, they pull us back in. So, yeah, it looks like uh, that looked like a lot of fun. Uh, I wonder what Episode 2 will be like. 
And hopefully we could check out episode three. Team Fortress 2 community. Looks like we're not done yet with this very awesome and popular game. I hope to learn more because apparently I never knew this. So uh, the only way you're going to find out if we're going to be continuing out with these fun adventures or if, uh, you know, we see episode two or three or whatever, you got to like, comment, share and subscribe. Hit that ring bell notification for Chicago Reacts. Uh, be sure to also check out all of our other fun stuff, too. So check out in the description box below. Until then, my name's Kit. Take good care of yourselves.